Students may notice a new color standing out on campus as Relay for Life begins their Paint the Campus Purple Week in preparation for Saturday's event. Senior Linza Harrellis, who also serves on Relay's exec team, has her own special reason to be excited for this week. Um, I actually am a survivor. I'm coming up on 12 years in remission um, this June. A group of volunteers gathered on Monday to kick things off by setting up signs and tying purple ribbons around trees in the campus mall. Junior and Relay for Life president Dan Prisbilski says that in addition to volunteers, the team is expecting a much larger turnout on Saturday at the HRC. Yeah, so right now we have uh, probably about 290 people and we're probably expecting close to 350 by the end of the week to sign up and uh, maybe close to 400 if we're lucky at the day of the event. As of today, 46 teams of participants have raised over $29,000. Sahara List says that as a leukemia survivor, she will have a hard time controlling her emotions if they meet their goal of $60,000 this weekend. I feel like I'm really excited to just see that, that 60000 met. I'm excited and I'm going to honestly probably cry like crazy if we meet it because it's, it's just a big, to see all our work pay off that would be awesome. In the coming days, students will be able to see luminarias lining the sidewalks to build awareness for the Relay team. As for the actual event itself, Junior and Relay exec member Nate Clannon says he can't wait to see their plan come into action. I've been working really hard with Dan and Wynn and the whole exec team just to make sure that everything's running smoothly. We have all the DJ and all the events planned to go on throughout the night and just make sure that our event this year is a huge success. Brzbilski says he has his own reason to be excited for Saturday. I'm actually really excited. My mom's coming down uh, on Saturday to come support me. She's a two-time breast cancer survivor and she's been a hell of a survivor. For the Butler Beat, I'm Mike Murtaugh.